Hey guys, it's me Sneaker Dan, back again with another new video and today I'm just going to give you guys a quick review and overview of a shoe that I picked up in recent, um, just recently. Um, this, this shoe released I believe about a week or two ago. Um, I didn't hit them originally on the sneakers um, release date, however um, I had a friend at Soul Savvy who was able to help me get a retail pair and so it took a little time just off of shipping and stuff like that and I finally got the shoe and so I'm going to do a really quick uh, review and overview of the Jordan 1 Palominos that released about a week or two ago and let's get right into it. <clears throat> so off the bat we got a brand new Jordan 1 box pretty much. Um, this time it's not in your typical black and red color. It's actually in a black and gold color, which is very interesting. Um, pretty much Nike logo symbol is all gold. Box is black as always. And I got it actually in a size nine this time instead of size nine and a half. I can, I can wear the size nines. I would prefer size nine and a half. But, since I am a little bit more wider foot, but as I wear the shoes more, they tend to stretch out so I can fit into a nine. Um, and I'm actually glad enough that I even got a shoe like this, so I'm pretty happy. That's pretty much what the box looks like. Standard Jordan 1 box with a little bit of a different flavor to it this time. And here we go. Boom. Here they are, the Jordan 1 Palominos. Initial impressions, um, when I first got them in hand, they looked very nice actually a lot better in person than in the pictures honestly and then um i really like the color blocking and also the quality of the material material is actually very nice so let's get start off with just the materials itself the material of the shoe pretty much is the black the black portion of the shoe the black paneling of the shoe is pretty much the, you know the good old jordan one synthetic leather however the brown portions of the whole shoe is pretty it's I would assume it's more of a, su a suede than a nubuck. It does feel like a nubuck type of material, just off of, off of feel-wise. <clears throat> it resembles most closely to the Jordan 6 Infrareds from the, I want to say the 2019 or 2018 releases. I honestly might be butchering it pretty hard right now, which is pretty bad, but this is what they feel like. I'm assuming it's actually a suede material of the shoes as it feels very nice and smooth um i'm overall the materials is pretty decent and pretty good in hand and off the field as always um the leather cuts are pretty actually this time around they're actually not super thick except for the black paneling and um, panelings of the shoe overall um the the brown portions of the shoes are actually pretty thin but of course, necessarily, just because the, sh the leather cuts are thick or thinner doesn't necessarily mean the leather quality is actually good nor bad. In regards to that, you would just have to be m looking into it more of like a deep dive, cutting the shoe in half, which I'm not going to do. Um, nor do I have the tools to do that, in a sense. Um, but Rose Anvil really puts it really well and I always I always um mention him in a lot of my videos just because he works with leather in almost all the videos as well. He is a leather worker and so it's he explains that a lot of these cuts of the shoes and it's just because they're thicker cuts doesn't mean they're necessarily really good quality of the shoe. Based on the feel and how I see it, leather quality is not too bad of the shoe overall and you can take that as for what it is overall. Overall, material is not too bad. Um, color blocking of the shoe and the style and the design of the shoe, I really like it. It pretty much follows around and follows through pretty much the same color blocking as the Jordan 1 Royals, Jordan 1 Breads, um, including even the um, Shattered, Shattered Backboard 3.0s. Um, I really, really love this, this type of um, color blocking just because instead of having just the typical mocha colorway, I know everyone goes all crazy over the mocha ones, but this is, I feel like it's a far superior, um, just color blocking, all black with a little bit hints of the mocha or hints of the brown um, leather suede all over the shoe. It just looks really clean. It's really perfect just in time for the fall and winter season as well. Um, just, I really, really like this color blocking. Not to mention black overall goes well with a lot of all of clothes and just in general especially for the fall vibes overall throughout the dawn for the upcoming season 
Um, overall, I believe this shoe is phenomenal. I haven't had a Jordan like this in a really, really long time that I've been actually really excited for on since the Chicago ones that I've released back in December. And so I'm actually really, really stoked to even have a pair of these. I've been wearing these ever since I got them, um, got them last Friday. I've been wearing them pretty much on a Friday night. I wore them on Saturday, I wore them on Sunday. I even wore them to work today. Sadly, I'm very sad and a little upset, but it's okay because shoes are meant to be worn. Sneakers, like the Jordans and Yeezys and everything, they're all meant to be worn. But this morning I tripped over, I don't even know what they were, I don't know what it's called. It's like whenever you, whenever you park your car, there's a little it's a cement block in front of it. I tripped over it with my shoe and I actually scraped my left shoe. Um, not terribly, but it's a little scuff mark, which I'm not very happy about. If you've seen the video, it's a little line right here. You don't really notice it, but I notice it just because it happened, but it doesn't really take away the integrity of the shoe. But I really love these. And honestly, at this point, like I feel like these are gonna be a shoe that I'm gonna be wearing very, very often. I'm probably gonna beat these up to like to all hell and to the end so honestly i think it's a pretty worthy investment for me to even just buy a second pair and just keep one so i can just keep it in a reserve and after a couple of years when I, if i beat these pair up i can bring up a fresh new pair and just wear those i really love these i think i don't think currently looking at how the sneaker market is now but I believe in the next year or two, these are going to skyrocket probably to 300, 400 bucks. And I'm really trying to, I'm really going to try to take advantage of the, how the sneaker market is right now and just try to get a brand new, another pair of these as soon as possible. But overall, that's the review and overall on video on video for today. Um, Palominos, I think they're a phenomenal shoe. They're really great. One of the better Jordan 1 releases of this year, in my personal opinion. Uh, I just really love how it looks. It just reminds, it, it just reminds me of the Royal and Bread of One color blockings. And I'm really glad they actually added another one of that type of blocking to the Jordan 1 retro lineup. And I'm very happy with these. Um, quality feels great on hand of course I'm not sure in regards to in depth but on hands on and the way they feel they feel very good um i honestly i have to give them like a nine and a half to a 10 out of 10 on the on a, on a rating score and a review score honestly i might actually give these a 10 out of 10 and i usually don't give money shoe many shoes 10 out of 10s honestly and i really well might have to give them a 10 out of 10 i love these they're great and they're phenomenal um, that's overall for today's video. I have, will have another video coming up soon. Hopefully, I'll post it tomorrow on Wednesday. Um, I actually did. A, I was able to pick up the Kobe A Halos that came out, I believe, a couple of weeks ago, weeks ago as well, um, or it might have been a month ago. Um, but I was able to pick it up. Um, meaning, I didn't really win. I didn't win on the raffle, but I did find a reseller in my area, and I got a very good deal on it. And I'll explain. I'll go more in depth. On that in the video um, I played in them just yesterday on Sunday um, they felt great on court and um, I'm gonna do like just a really quick overview review on those as well um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, please comment like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time peace